homegrown wife. I'm Eliza Anderson, and I'm a wife of a custom harvester, mother of three teenagers, and a beginner gardener, really. It's only been two years that I've really focused on trying to grow my own food. And to be honest, this year feels like the only time it's been somewhat of a success. And if this is your first time here, thank you for coming and checking it out. Please hit the subscribe and the bell to make sure that you get notified on all the updates. We live on a nine acre little homestead, hobby farm, um, plot of land in west central Minnesota. We are zone 4B. I find a lot of YouTubers who do gardening in the southern states. Their zones are usually like zone 6 and up. And I just felt like they were so much further along in their growing season that it just made me want, want more and more. And then I kept going, okay, is my garden where it's supposed to be being in zone 4B compared to looking at some that are in zone 6? There's a big difference. And so I'm here hoping to be able to help you along in zone zones four and three and be a little bit closer to home as far as that goes um, this is the first year that I overstepped some bounds of what I would usually have done I had even my tomatoes planted by mid-may in zone four that's kind of crazy but I had so many that I had started in the house that there was plenty to put out and try and get a little ahead. I knew that they were forecasting a hot summer and to be honest, this spring has been very warm. Up until two weeks ago, it was a very dry spring for us. Um, we're finally getting rain and are blessed by that. So. I know that there are still some people north of us that are still struggling. But Roots and Refuge has been one that has been near and dear to my heart ever since the first time I watched Jess. Jess has inspired me to use the garden as a place of therapy. As you can see, I'm sitting in my chair. And she talked about making sure that the gardener is in the garden because that's the best medicine for the gardener garden and garden the garden is the best medicine for the gardener in that video she talked about making sure you have a spot to just sit and enjoy your garden so I had this old chair it was brown wooden and it was already kind of sitting throughout my garden I would move it quite often and just sit in it I had already bought paint to paint it and so I decided to paint it and then added a table alongside of it, put it in the back corner here of my garden where in the morning I still get sun rays to warm me but in the afternoon this corner is the first place that gets the shade of the afternoon. So if I'm out working in the garden I can come and sit and have water. Last night, I had the joy of having my 15-year-old come out, and she had a rough day. So she came out, and she just sat and visited with me. She sat in my chair, and I weeded. And for me, that that's the best purpose for this chair. Um, some mornings, my husband will come out, and he'll just sit in the chair while I weed. I am one that works best while talking, part of why I started a YouTube channel. It's a way for me to express some of my extra, extrovertness during the time of COVID and still continue to be able to express myself while finding a new normal of being home more often. At this point, we are looking at homeschooling. So from October to March, I'll probably be sharing some recipes some homeschooling tips. We have homeschooled on and off in the past. Um, we actually decided that 
two of our children would be homeschooled this 2021 school year before everything with COVID came up and we're still kind of waiting to see what guidelines will be in place before we make a decision on our third child. I'll also be chatting about raising our pastured pork on this channel. We chose to do that last year. This year we farrowed out four piglets. We will rebreed in November our sow and the gilt so that we can have more piglets in March. If you're interested in those, those videos will be posted hopefully on Thursdays. So my goal is to post Tuesday gardening or homeschooling tips depending upon the season. And Thursday will be more of a livestock, chickens and pigs. Then on Saturdays during the summer, we'll do garden tours and not sure, maybe some Q and A's in the winter. So I hope today you can harvest some blessings. Whether they're big or small, they're all around. Whether they're in your garden or where life is taking you right now. It's not all easy, but in every step, there's some ray of sunshine that I hope you find today. If there's one vegetable that makes me think of my grandma on my dad's side, it's a bee. Thank you.